Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk through how to create a brief before you start writing, or if you're gonna create a brief to have someone else write an article for you for SEO purposes specifically, you wanna show up on Google, this is for you. Now, I'm gonna show you a few different tools that I've used that help me create the brief and get started. But the most important part is gonna be the thinking behind it. So if you get the thinking down, everything else is gonna be square for you. You don't have to sound cool. You don't have to be the best writer. You don't have to come from writing for the New York Times to, to show up high on Google results. What you need is a clear system of how to create content that appeases the Google gods and at the and the most important part is not just the Google gods, but also making sure that your content is valuable for the end user. Cool, so let's get started. So we're gonna look at two tools and I think there's about four that we could look at. Here's Topic, I would recommend Topic, but they just got bought or something and so they're not around anymore. Um, another one is Content Harmony, never used it, but it'll have the same idea. And then there's Market Muse, again, same idea, but I haven't used it. And then there's ClearScope. ClearScope is another one that I have not used, but they all pretty much do the same thing. The other one I have used is gonna be Dashword. Dashword is probably my next favorite. The one thing about Dashword, let's see their pricing. Yeah, it's a little bit pricey. It's $40 a month for five reports. And that basically means five articles. So you're basically paying about $8 an article, um, which is okay, but let's see. I'll, I'll show you why this is worth it in a moment. So I'm gonna click on one of these and I have one open already. This is what these tools bring out. And I'm gonna show you why this is valuable. So the keyword here is Squarespace SEO tips. So if somebody goes to Google and they type in Squarespace SEO tips, basically what this tool is doing is it's pulling the top 10 to 20 results and it's pulling how much content is on the pages, it's pulling the reading level, it's pulling the subheadings, the H2, the H3, the H4, it's pulling keywords. So let's say all the articles use the word website 28 times plus, you can now see that in this tool. So it's gonna show you what the main keywords are, what the supporting keywords are that help show up on Google. The idea here is simple. We don't know the Google algorithm, but if we reverse engineer the top 20 results, the things that are working, we may be able to show up in those positions because we're doing things very similar. Now, you can't copy, let's plagiarism, right? But what you can do is use the base structure to understand what you can do when you write and how to think about your content. So what I would be doing here is I would be going through and taking a look. So this is the brief for Squarespace SEO tips. You can see here a few highlights, right? Recommended word count, 3,700. That's a long article. Recommended content grade A, so top quality content. Keyword volume, 210. We'll look more at that in a moment. Articles on first page, 82% of the content on the first page are articles, not other resources and things like that ads or Google My Business profiles or anything else. Then you can see the competitive analysis. Now, I really like this. This section is really important and super valuable. If you see this, it really gives you a breakdown of what's happening. So you could see here, remember the search we just did? I'm gonna try to compare this for you. Okay, so these first results are ads, so you could ignore those. Those are always gonna change and ship. Those are not ranking, they're paying. So it's a little bit different, but you could see here, increase your site's visibility to search engines. What's the first result? Increase your site's visibility to search engines. So it's gonna show you here, the word count, 1200 words. Now, in this case, this article specifically is from Squarespace, it's a support article, so it kind of acts differently. But as you can see, what it's doing, it's basically pulling these top results here for us. Then if you go down, 35 ways to optimize your site, uh, here, domain authority, 32, word count, 2,200. That's interesting. Content grade is a B. SEO, uh, Squarespace SEO, how to optimize your site. Uh, domain authority, 16, 3,200 words. And so here you're getting an idea of what's actually working. What is ranking? 
and you could get a feel for, hey, if you really want to push hard for this, you could see this article here is 7,800 words, but most of these are about two to 3,000 words. So with that, their suggestion about 3,700 is good. I'd probably do about 3,500. I think that's a good spot to begin. And as you go through this, you can really figure out what is the best thing to optimize for. Now, we typed in Squarespace SEO tips. As you can see here, it says tips here, does not say tips here, it says tips here, it says tips here, tips here. So a lot of these are showing up with this exact keyword. So we're going to want to make sure the title has that keyword. So, so let's say this, let's do the title 21 Squarespace SEO tips to optimize your site fast. Let's just say that for now. All right, so that could be an example of a title. We could maybe make two or three, whatever we like. The description here will write kind of what the, the focus is of the article, but we're gonna get into subheadings here in a moment. So what's next? Okay, here, this is really beautiful. I actually wish this was organized a little bit differently. I think Dashword does this well. This is the outline. This is the H2 of every article. Now imagine if you had to go into every article and try to see what they're they're talking about. Here, this is so good, it's super useful. Now again, we're not sitting here and copying all this, but it gives you an idea, what are they focused on in the article? So quality content, that's great. Learn what Google considers quality content. Um, improve how your website appears in search, awesome. What else do they have? Let's see, it's loading, show some more outlines as well. Great, what else is there? Ensure your Squarespace site is loading as fast as possible. Okay, cool, enable image meta data importing. Okay, awesome. So there's all these things that you can look at and you can see what people are doing and then you know what you wanna talk about. So now you could optimize around that. So you're literally putting yourself in the best position to optimize content that is ranking. So if you're gonna talk about metadata, you know how to talk about metadata. If you're gonna be talking about uh, how to do quality content, how to write quality content, you know what you're gonna be talking about. So what you can start doing here, let me click on this, you can see, I just clicked on this and it imported it into my outline. So then I can import a few of these. I'm like, yeah, these are things I would talk about. So then you could keep going. And as you can see here, it literally it like highlights what you've added. So you can go through here and figure out what you want. I always will then go in here and like adjust these. So this is secure site with SSL. Uh, I would type, I'd probably type in SSL plus HSTS. Uh, H S T S. Yep. And then that's what they would talk about. And then here as well, I probably highlight some more details about what to focus on and how to talk about it. So as you can see here, you could start creating your entire brief and you're doing it based on the best results. Now I could sit here and do this all day. I actually love this component um, or this side of things. It's really valuable to have a sense of what is working, what people are talking about. Again, you're not even going into the details of what they're saying. So this article says keyword research, but you have your own angle on that. You have your own angle on adjusting URLs. You have your own angle on linking internally. So you could talk through all those points yourself, but it's good to get the outline set up before you even begin. Now, this is the next important part that a lot of people overlook. If we go back to the search results, you'll see people also ask, how do I optimize SEO for Squarespace? Is Squarespace SEO any good? You can see there's questions here that you can literally start to use in your article as well and answer. Is Squarespace good for SEO? Relevance, super high. What are SEO best practices? So now you're seeing even the verbiage you should be using. So 21 in Squarespace SEO tips and best practices to optimize your site fast. Cool. So if I want to use that type of verbiage, I can. Next, let's talk about topics to cover. In this section here, I mentioned this earlier, right? If you have a lot of keywords on your site uh, or in these articles, there's a lot of keywords that repeat. You'll see them here talking about ranking, typical usage, two to 49 uses, two uses in headlines, keywords, one at a, or all the way up to 188 uses. Here you can see what the most valuable words are that you can use in your article. And if we actually go to something like a dashboard, this is really cool. So here I have Squarespace for blogging, I'm kind of jumping around a little, so stick with me. But you can see here, same thing. These are all the articles and what they talk about. Here are the relevant keywords. What's really cool about this tool, uh, dashboard specifically, is you could do this like create an article. And what it does is it creates a space for you to actually write the article check this out. So you could actually write the article. As you start using words, it starts to highlight the words 
And then over time, you can see here, it starts to turn green. And so it's showing you how many times you've used the words. Now, this is the magic of all of this. And I'm just going to pause for a moment. And we're going to talk about this is this is a way that you could actually create content that you're grading it on a scale, not just an arbitrary scale. I like it or I don't like it. You're grading it on a scale of this is actually optimized for SEO. The top 20 results, we're doing the same, if not better with our content. And so the likelihood of us ranking is a lot higher than just some arbitrary, I kind of like this article. Now, this isn't a perfect science. So what you have to keep in mind is you want to publish content consistently because you don't know which article is going to pop off. An article will, a few articles will, 80% of them will, you have no idea. But what you do is you focus on a specific keyword, a specific search you want to show up for, you reverse engineer it. Then from there, you start to optimize it, write the brief and create the content that is just like what else, what everyone else is doing to show up at the top. But see, this is the really important part, the value that you add. So the value that you add will come to life if people are sharing your article, if they revisit your article, if they have tips and tricks in the article that they can come back to over and over again, or come in and check in later, or if the article pushes them to more articles on your site, the more value they get from your content, the better. So there's this great thing you can do to optimize for SEO. I'm showing you how to do that now, but make sure you provide value, your specific angle, your specific view on the topic. And now we're back in the topic tool. It has stats here. You could use this as well, or commonly cited articles. You could use this as well to find out more uh, about what people are citing in the articles. But here you could take all of this, create a brief, add a description. Basically, a description is the main focus of the article. We want to say this or that. And then from here, you take all this, copy this to clipboard, and now you have the start of an article. So let me paste this into just a Google Doc. You can see here what it starts to outline. One thing I like to do if I am having someone else write the article is I will tell them what to focus on in every section. So let me zoom in a little bit so you get an idea of what I'm saying. So here, include keywords at the top of your homepage. And so in this case, I forget if it's HSTS or HSTC, whatever it is, I would give them a little kind of focus point for every one of the subheadings. And so they would know what to do if there were seven topics or this one, right, is 21, I would number them for them. So I would say one through 21, or just give them a clear sense of where this article is going. So you could see the full outline, you could see the whole article. This is great, it makes it really simple for someone to get in here and work on the article here, I could do that, I could call this a working title. So they know that they could play with it or adjust it feel free to change uh, description here. I would probably call this main goal so that we all know what we're talking about. It's not just a description of the article, but what is the main goal of the article? Do that and then word count 3,700. So they know exactly what to write, how long it should be, all of that. Again, if you go to a, word, a tool like Dashword, you could literally copy and paste whatever they write, paste it here, see how it ranks, see how it works. It'll, it'll show you the content grade. It's a D right now. Word count is like 11. It should be 1500. Readability is a seventh grade read level. Maybe we want that. Maybe we don't. If I go back here to the keyword report, what does it say? Reading level is like eighth or ninth grade or like a seventh grade reading level, the benchmarks here. So we're in the ballpark, we're in the right space. And boom, just like that, you've created content brief, you could send it off to a writer, you could send it off to someone on your team, whatever that might be, or you can start writing it. I'm going to have links down below that will be affiliate links. So I'll just let you know right now, for tools like topic, because topic is apparently going to be gone by the end of the year. Um, but for sure, dashboard, I will send a link. So there'll be uh, a way for you to join that way. And I think it will give you a discount as well as the other tools I mentioned here, Market Muse and Content Harmony and ClearScope. If I find, if I use these tools and I find them useful, I will leave comments down below talking about it as well. All right, so now you know how to create content and you are off to the races. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're looking for more content to optimize your Squarespace site, check out this next video. It'll be linked somewhere here about Squarespace SEO. It'll help you get optimized. You don't wanna miss this. If you haven't done these steps that I'm gonna show in the video uh, on your site yet, you will be 
a step behind. So make sure you get this done as well. Do this first before you start creating content on your site and check out our website for blogs, articles, and more content for you. With that, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.